That's his book question again. Today I'm gonna read you this book, The Evil Genie. Da -na -da -na 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 -na. Biff had an idea. She wanted to try an experiment. So one day she put a bottle over a tiny apple. I wonder if the apple will grow in the bottle, she thought. I'll have to wait and see. After a long, long time, Biff went to see if the experiment was working. It was, and the bottle was a big apple. Biff showed the bottle to Nadim. When he saw the apple, he was amazed. How did you get that in there? she asked. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The magic took the children into another adventure. I wonder where the magic is taking us, called Kipper. The magic took them to a tiny island in the middle of the ocean. Floppy hated magic adventures. Oh no, he groaned. We're on a bare island with only one tree in the middle. Ugh. Why have we come here? asked Biff. Maybe there's a reason why the magic has brought us here, said Natim. But what? moaned Kipper. There's nothing here. No, I don't like the look of this, said Biff. This is not going to be a good adventure. Dun, 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 dun. Let me climb the tree. Help me climb the tree, and maybe I can see a ship going past. Biff saw a bottle sticking out of the sand. It was tied to the base of the tree. How strange! Thought Biff. He un she untied the bottle and picked it up. Suddenly, Nadim began to wave and shout. I can see a boat. He called, but it's a long way off. They all waved and shouted. The boat turned and came towards them. Hooray! It's coming! Yelled Kipper. <laughs> the boat reached the island. There was a boy sailing it. What are you doing on this tiny island? He asked. You wouldn't believe us even if we told you," said Biff. The boy said he would rescue them, so they all climbed into the boats. I hate boats," thought Floppy. Biff took the bottle with her. "It's very heavy," she said. "I wonder what's in it." The boy sailed the boat away from the island. My name is Kamar," he said. "I am the son of Hassan the Explorer. Why are you all by yourself?" asked Nadim. "I am looking for my father," said Kamar. "He has been missing for four years." Biff showed Kamar the bottle she had found on the island. "It's a very strange-looking bottle," she said. "I found it on the island." There's something heavy inside," said Kamar. "Let's open it." Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Kamar pulled the cork out of the bottle. Then something terrible happened. There was a loud bang, and a cloud of smoke. An evil genie shot out. There was a terrible smell, like rotten eggs. Oh! Gasped Biff. What have we done? Ha! I'm free at last! Shouted the genie. You will be sorry you let me out. Why? Asked Biff. You should be thankful. Not me! Cried the genie. I hate all people, but most of all, I hate the man who put me in this bottle. Dun 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 dun. His name is Hassan," cried Genie, "and now I'm off to.
to deal with him. Then the genie grew very big. First, I will deal with you," he said. He 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 puffed out his cheeks and blew very hard. Help! Called Kamar. He's making a storm. The wind snapped off the mast. Big waves tossed the boat up and down. Hang on, everyone! Yelled Kamar. We're being we're being blown onto a big island. Biff said this wasn't going to be a good adventure. Shouted Kipper. The boat was swept onto the shore. It hit some rocks and turned over. Then they were all thrown onto the beach. Then the storm stopped. Biff and Adam looked around. They were all wet, but nobody was hurt. Everyone looked at the boat. There was a big hole in the bottom. If we can't mend this hole, said Kamar, we will be stuck on this island. Things are getting worse, thought Floppy. There are too many fleas here. Dun, 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 dun. Then they saw a man running towards them. He had long black beard and long hair. It was Kamar's father, Hassan. When Kamar saw him, he shouted, "Father, is that is it you? I am your son, Kamar." Hassan gave Kamar a hug. Hassan told them that his ship had been wrecked on the island. I live in a hut made out of bits of wood. I have been alone for four years," he said. "Then I will take you home," said Kamar. "All we have to do is to mend my boat." Kamar's father showed them a big chest. It was washed up in a storm," he said. "It may be full of treasure, but I can't open it. I don't have a key." Nadim looked at the chest. It would need a special key to open it, he said. Suddenly, there was a whooshing sound and a terrible smell of rotten eggs. The evil genie appeared. His voice sounded like thunder. "Aha!" he shouted. "You trapped me in a bottle. Now I will deal with you, Hassan." Don 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 da 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 da. Floppy hated the adventure, and he hated the genie even more. He began to bark and snarl at the genie. Floppy called Biff, "Don't do it!" But Floppy barked even more. Help! cried the genie. I hate dogs. The genie flew away. Hooray! shouted the keeper. Good residents to the horrid, smelly old genie. Hassan looked upset. But how did he escape? He asked. I put him in a bottle years ago. Hassan told them about the genie. He can't touch you himself, but he can get other things to hurt you, like the way he made the storm. Asked Biff. Yes, said Hassan. But he can only do two bad things a day. On the island was a mountain. On the top of it lived a large bird. The genie flew up to where the bird lived. Now I will deal with that stupid dog, he said. He used his powers on the bird. Get the dog! He called. Get the dog! The bird flew down the mountain. They felt the cold wind from its beating wings. Quickly, yellow sun, get inside the hut! Floppy was frightened of the bird. He ran away from the hut. Floppy, come back! Yelled Biff. The bird 
swooped onto the beach. It picked up Floppy in its claws. Biff, Nadim, and Chipper ran out of the hut, but the bird flew off with Floppy. Floppy! yelled Chipper. Dun dun. This is terrible," said Chipper. "We'll have to rescue Floppy. This must be because of the genie," said Nadim. "We'll have to get him back into the bottle. There must be a way to do it," said Biff. "If only we knew what it was." Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. "Oh, stop!" called Nadim. "We can't go now. We haven't rescued Floppy." The magic. Began to take them home. Don't glow, magic key! cried Biff. We can't leave Floppy behind. Dun, 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 dun. The magic took the children home. What can we do about Floppy? asked Gipper. We can't leave him stuck in an adventure. Can we make the key take us back? said Nadim. How? asked Biff. We can never make it glow. It only glows when it wants to. Just then, Mum came into Biff's room. It's time for Nanim to go home, she said, and it's time for Kibber's bath. Kibber didn't want a bath, and Nanim didn't want to go home. They wanted to go back into the adventure. What's up, Biff? Asked Chip. You look upset. Biff told Chip about Floppy. We must go back and rescue him," said Chip. "We've got to find a way to get the genie back into the bottle. If only the magic key would glow." The evil genie. <gasps> What will happen? Hoo hoo! Who will rescue Floppy? Ding ding ding! Bye bye, guys. Ow!